Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to all my students. Today we will discuss on the topic on metal casting. Uh, generally, uh, metal casting process involve melting of metal, pouring it into the mold cavity, let it solidify, and lastly remove from the mold. <coughs> Uh, in metal casting, there are several criteria need to be considered such as flow of molten metal, solidification and cooling of metal and also type of mold material. Uh, this is some of the product uh, made by metal casting uh, such as uh, engine block, uh, crankshaft, uh, automotive components, pipes and others. Uh, metal component uh, metal casting can be categorized uh, into two types which are expandable mold and permanent mold uh, expandable mold type means that the mold need to be broken uh, in order to remove the casting uh, the common uh, mold material is a uh, sand or ceramic uh, the sand casting, shell, investment, loss foam, and vacuum molding are uh, the method of expandable mold type. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the permanent mold means that the mold shape is permanently rigid and repetitively used. Uh, the mold material is made by hardened steel. Uh, there are the type of uh, permanent mold uh, such as vacuum casting, pressure casting, uh, die casting and centrifugal casting. Uh, we will discuss first on the expandable mold type casting uh, which is the known as a sand casting. Uh, this method is a common method in casting and it is economical process for lower production volume. Uh, the sand casting process involves uh, placing the pattern in sand uh, to make the imprint, uh, incorporating the gasting system, removing the pattern and filling the mold cavity with the molten metal, allow for metal solid solidify, uh, break the sand mold, remove the casting and lastly secondary operation is we can do a machining and finishing process. Uh, this figure show the flow process in sand casting operation. Uh, starting from the left, the process begins by preparing the mold and melting the metal, then pouring the molten metal into the mold cavity, let the metal cool before shake out to remove the casting product. And last, the secondary process may involve heat, heat treatment, uh, cleaning and finishing, and end with the product inspection. In addition, uh, the sand casting process is illustrated in the figure shown. The first and second line in figure illustrate the process of making the two half of the sand mold. And the last line, the third line of the figure show the assembly process of the mold, pouring the molten metal into the cavity and solidification process. In sand casting operation, uh, we need to recognize the element in sand mold as shown in the figure. Uh, <clears throat> during the pouring uh, process, the molten metal will be poured into the pouring cup or pouring basin and then goes down through the conical shape of sprue uh, meet the gates and well before molten metal change the flow direction to the uh, left or horizontal direction. It was then meet the blind riser, filling up the mold cavity and lastly end up in the open riser. <clears throat> this is the second method in expandable mold type casting which is the known as a shell molding casting as shown in the figure. 
the process start from the upper left figure where the coated sand is filled up in the dump box and closed by the heated pattern. Then the dump box rotates to distribute the coated sand on the surface of the pattern. <clears throat> when the coated sand exposed to the heat from the pattern surface, it will bond each other which then creates the shell mold. Then the shell is removed from the dump box combined with other half of shell to create mold cavity before it ready for the pouring process. So thank you very much uh, for listening. Uh, the next video we will discuss uh, another process in expandable mold casting.